Welcome to an owl painting lesson. Owl painting scripts are available in the image to image tab. They're also available in the inpaint and batch image to image sub tabs. They are selectable at the bottom of your web user interface under scripts. Let's get into it. I have a catalog of trained images that I'll use for this example. I'm going to create a rough overhead map for a potential video game. First, I'll select an image to start from. Since this is from a trained set of images, I will also place the embedding file that correlates with this image in the Stable Diffusion Embeddings folder. Note that I'm not changing the name of the file, so in order to recall this embedding in the prompt, I'll need to list the entire name as you see it here, LOZ42-2500. I'll go ahead and type in a prompt to tell it I want it to display an overhead map with brown walls and green paths. I select 50 steps to start with, leave it at Euler A for now, and select a high denoise scale and a low classifier free guidance scale. I'm using the Outpainting MK2 script for this map and leaving the setting for pixels to expand at the default of 128. Adjusting the slider will adjust how far out from the edge of the picture it tries to reimagine. I recommend outpainting in one direction at a time, but for now I'll leave them all checked and click Generate. Watch how the map starts to expand to the left, then the right, then up, and finally down. I don't recommend this method only because if one direction turns out undesirable, you'll have to go to the extra step of masking out the undesirable section. But this actually turned out okay. If you want to keep what you generated, click Send to Image to Image and keep expanding until you're happy with your expansion. I was sloppy with some of the generations, but I was only looking for inspiration in this project. So I ended my outpainting session by selecting None in the script section and smoothed out the entire generation with another couple prompts while adjusting CFG and denoising scale settings. Experimenting between the different sampling methods, number of steps, and all the adjustable settings will change your results.